Okay, so you want to show forecasting data in Excel. Obviously, you want to indicate that the forecast is different from all of your real historic data, right? The key to doing this is splitting your series into two, and I want to show you how to do that. It's not that hard. So when you make a chart, you probably have a date and then some data going down over time, right? All we're going to do here is split the data at the current time and then jump into a different column for everything that's in the forecast. Now, when you make your chart, you're gonna select all of your data to make your line chart, so you're gonna have two separate data series. By default, it's gonna give you something kind of like this. You might have to go in and reselect your uh, axis labels in the select data pane that's under the uh, chart design tab. You might just have to go in here and select your hor horizontal category axis labels to get that all to connect right. One tip, to get this to connect, see how they connect right in the middle? You're going to have to double the entry for the value where you want it to split. So for Jan 2024, there's two entries. In one column, the entry is 154, and then in the other column, the, the entry is 154. That just makes the lines connect so you get one nice, clean, continuous line. If you want to get really fancy and have like a fill like this, all I've done here is actually entered the same series of data twice for the historical data and converted one of the lines to an area chart. So if we just put in two identical lines and then we right clicked on one of them, selected change chart type, and then in your line options, you're gonna see an area chart. It's gonna convert one of them to an area chart. And in this case, I've just given the area chart a gradient fill from top to bottom. That's all to create this cool effect. There's other ways to do this too. If you have a forecast that goes back in time as well and you wanna show the whole thing, one of the ways I sometimes like to do that is showing the forecast as an area chart and then our actual data as a line, or you can split it up a bunch of other ways as well. Like for example, in this case, we've shown our forecast, but then we've shown how much higher or lower it is than our actual result. And this can be a fun way to show how accurate your forecasting is over time. I sent this whole thing out on the newsletter, so you should have it in your inbox already. Uh, if you haven't joined that, it's all over on my profile. I send these out for free. It's just like what the whole channel is based on here. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments, let me know. Thanks so much folks, bye for now.